hello guys welcome to a light professional in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a dynamic line chart a beautiful line chart um okay so let's just get started i will show you how what we need as we um continue all right so this is what i'm going to show you first let's make this dynamic line chart for both actual and um, target right so i want you to go to insert then i want to go to um on your charts so let's pick an amazing um line chart that we have okay so we have this this is really really um all over the place see how the numbers is from tweeting i wonder what really happened come on man this is really huge okay so let's change this this is really really big so let's change this to 16,000, right? Well, it doesn't make any difference. Apparently, it doesn't make any difference. Actually, really done, right? Okay, so that is really none of a concern. That is what I actually is showing, so there's nothing we can do about that, right? Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Alright, so so we have this nice line chart. So I don't like having my lines. Okay, so I like. Um, okay, so let us copy the title of this. And um, let's put it here. So you can watch my last video now. Be able to make that. Okay. okay so. Let's link this to this. Okay. Nice. So let's board this. Okay. One thing that I like to see my legends, I want it to be at the top so that whoever uh, should be reviewing can see whatever I'm having here. Um, whatever can see what the legend, what legend indicates, um, what line indicates um, actual, which other line indicates the target number. So this is nice. Okay. Um, so lowest number that we have here is 8000 let's smooth this a bit so I want this to show that um, the, late, the lowest number that we have ok so I want the minimum ok so let's just make it um, major to be let's say 8000 right ok then the minor should be let's say four thousand. Okay, so this max should be what? What number do we have as max? So let's make the number to be one hundred. I think one hundred is the max that we have. Okay, this is all about the place. This is from minus four thousand to four thousand. 4,000 to 12,000 ok so let's just make 10,000 difference ok alright so let's leave it this way ok right so what we want to show here is that at the top here we don't want our legend to be showing here yeah. so we want each line to be dynamic and then showing that um, this is where the legend is so we need to show the end point so the end point is here so for the for this value we're going to do this right and for this we're going to do this as well okay I'm thinking of making this a kind of projection <laughs> uh, a progression that makes sense and then probably let's say each one of this will be this plus okay let's say plus so let's say each one of this is 10 plus 20,000 right okay does that make sense this is us trying to influence the number and then they just say this is 10,000 plus 5,000 okay 
Let me see if this is not bad. Hmm. Looks bad. So it seems the actual is way ahead. Alright, so let's go back to what we have before we messed up the number. Alright, so we have this. So what I want to do now is that um, this, okay, is what I have. I want to select the data. Then I want to add this. I want this to be this, okay. Then I want this to be this. Okay, so I want to add another step. I want to add this highest value for targets. Okay, then for the value, I want the value to be this. Okay, then this is fine. Right, so I have this. Okay, so I want this to be, sh be shown at, at the tip here. So what I'm going to do really is that I'll come back here, then select each any of these. Okay, then go to my chart design. Then select, then I will show that a label right at the right, okay, above, below, okay. So I'll show this at the right. So ensure that you are clicking on the last um, box, okay. So I'm clicking on the last one again. Then that a label, I'll be showing this at the right as well, okay. All right, so this is we need to decrease this plot area. A bit all right so we have this right again this is what I want to do I want us to delete this so we don't need to show this again right so what I want to do is that um, this color is for this color right right there equals put equals in the formula by air that leak into this okay this is done then Come down here again, do the same thing for the I'm not sure if that's actual. We need to go back and check. I think um Okay. Well this is actually actual. Okay, so again, let's go back to add element, label, show at the right, okay. Then I'm going to click on this. This is actually the actual that we have. So the blue one is the actual, right? That is starting from 20,000, okay. So I'm going to link to this, right? Then I'll go back here and change this to targets okay so this would be targets this should be target okay right so I'm going to both these both these right and then we have this so whoever is looking at our um, data can easily identify that this is target is actual right so you can actually do some formatting here so we can make this um, display in um, should we do millions you know it's too far let's do thousands okay so you can do thousands here Right, so which is really nice, and then you can decide to even delete the whole thing if you want, as long as you can. But how do, how do you identify um, your performance? Right, so so we leave it okay. So that is how you can actually show your legends at the uh, bottom, and then whenever the figure changes, this will also. Um, change as well okay so maybe initially it might not but you might just have to go back let's say this change to 60,000 let me see right so automatically it will move right so let's say this change to 40,000 
okay so it will continue to move with what you have there right and then we can proceed further to make this dynamic by using what the maximum number that you have here so your maximum number will stand at the end point right now your last number will actually stand at the end point so you might want to um, write some formula to identify which one is your last number here all right so thank you so much guys for watching this video please like this video share with your friends and also give us thumb up i'm going to see in the next video